you take? Oh, CEFX. Did you take? Yeah, I'm, I'm filming right now. Why, why are you going to emergency? Hell, that's rare. This is a fairly steep grade for them. What happened? I heard him drop the air. I wonder if he's in emergency right now. I wonder what happened. Could be somebody in the tunnel. Maybe I, I just took a picture. I wonder if they thought I was bombing the trim with my camera. Is it still running? No, I no, I took a picture with my still camera of the tunnel with the train to it. Oh, come on, it's like they haven't seen rail spotters here before. <laughs> like you said, this is one of the premier sites for rail spotting. Yeah, I know, this is like one of the best spots in Windsor. Wow, dropped his air, why? Maybe there's a derailment. Not unusual. But that's all brand new slop crack down there. Yeah, well, well maybe, uh, uh, maybe he, um... Well, he saw something. He could be up ahead, too. Yeah, it could be me. Oh, maybe one of the maybe uh. Dispatcher told him to stop. Or, or maybe his train disconnected. I don't know, maybe. Well, it could be one of a. We're speculating to that. Yeah. Oh, maybe if the conductor walks back, because he has to walk his train out at the emergency. So maybe when the conductor walks back, maybe we can see what's going on. That's weird. Conductor's walking the train, so give me a second. Yeah, hmm. Never seen that before, going train going to emergency. Right now to get this thing moving again. Yeah. Because are those auto racks loaded? Dead stop on a hill? Oh yeah, they're here let me see, I gotta go around so I can see the light. What? You got it. Oh it's too close. Oh. Yeah, uh, Alma, this is a normal train for North America. They're long and big and heavy. Uh, a typical train will run 40,000 tons. Yeah, when we were in uh, uh, Oxford, we saw these models. Those well carriers were saying uh, 17,000 pound max. Uh, 
just for the wild cart itself, and they were all loaded double stacks. So, well, Australia and North America are the only two that really run big trains. Yeah. Well, Australia they have the new long iron ore trains, yeah. longest train in the world actually. Those they have not like nine nine engines all separately spaced out. Long. Primarily. Anyway, we gotta head back home after this. Yeah, after this train goes on. That's the first time seeing a train going to emergency, hearing it drop his ear. Oh yeah. And you went psh. Did you hear it as it was as it was going over? Oh, it went psh. And then just stopped. Look at that old sewer line hopper coming. See, it's after that yeah. first tinker. Got some green here. You always tell their grain cars that they have the square pull, uh, tops on. If they have the square tops. That they're circle. That means that they're used for uh, chemicals and uh, oh, yeah. stuff. So like, these are all grain cars because they have the rectangle, rectangle uh, things. I like the Canada ones, the ones that say Canada on the side. Those are my favorite uh, grain cutters. For some reason, when I was young, my favorite railroad was Baltimore, Ohio. Yeah. Oh, they did that. They did have that really cool blue uh, paint scheme. Well, they got GP35. Oh, okay. Yeah, see how that one has the circles in the top? That's for chemicals and, and like sand and stuff. See that plate steel? Yeah. Probably armor plate. I don't know why. Yeah, see this? It's a little bit flat. Probably armor plate for for the lab. Two line. It really weathered there. Oh, there's the end. Now I've got video of the test showing doubles well cars going through this tunnel. Oh, okay. Cool. And uh, there's pictures of when they tried running 53 foot double stack through the tunnel and all the containers shaved off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, if they want to put the tunnel in parallel,